Today is the final day for the Belle Isle Art Fair. The event features hundreds of artists from all over, including some artists from right here in Metro Detroit. And this morning, we're joined by Kim Roney. She's an artist featured in the show this year. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Keenan. For folks who have not been to the Belle Isle Art Fair and don't know what they're missing, can you tell us a little bit about the fair, the feel of the fair? Uh, tell us your, your experience as an artist. Well, um, the fair is special to me for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is the, the setting in Detroit, which I love, but the other is the addition of the gardens that were created by Pete Oldolf. I use his garden design ideas and sort of style to, often to inspire my painting. So that's one of the big pieces I have in the back of my booth. Booth has um, kind of a flair for his gardens. So that's kind of a big connection for me. But as far as going to the fair, it is just really nice to be out in a park uh, yesterday we had breezes and boy was that really welcome it was a nice sunny hot day but the the wind came in off the water and it wasn't too much but it was enough to help cool you down so um, it's a great show we have uh, about a hundred artists I think they come in from around 16 15 16 different states mm -hmm. and um, there's just a great variety of art there I saw I didn't get to do a lot of the show but I did walk it quick through um, and there was uh, jewelry and woodworking and clay and painters and just beautiful things for your yard, things for your house. It's a nice show. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, as we mentioned, you're one of the artists there. Tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about your art and uh, the techniques you use to create your art. And we're lucky enough to actually see one of your pieces right behind you. I know, that worked out great, didn't it? Um, so I am, um, I'm kind of what it's I hope I'm a mid-career artist. I hope I have a lot more years to paint, but I've been painting for a good long time. Um, I graduated from Eastern Michigan University with a degree in fine art, found painting to kind of be the vehicle that I wanted to express myself. Um, I live just south of Ann Arbor in a little town, just outside a little town uh, called Milan, and I'm surrounded by agriculture and I'm a farm girl. Um, from way back. So I like to connect with the earth, things that grow, things that I grow, things that live around us, things that are meaningful to me in that manner. So that sort of supplies my my subject matter. And, um, and I'm a Michigan girl. I was born and raised here. So I like things Michigan. Birch trees behind me are very Michigan. Um, so that's kind of my subject matter. My process is a little quirky, and um, that is that I use knives to paint with, and I brought some of those today to show you. Um, there, people think palette knife painting, they think of these long kind of butter knife shaped mm -hmm. knives, but actually my knives, if you guys on, on air can see, are yeah. oh, we, we mostly, see them. yeah, they're triangular. And so I have a big box of about 30 different knives and I might use several on one particular piece. So what does that, how does that differ from a brush? What does using those knives give you that you wouldn't get from using a brush? So that's a great question. Um, a couple of things technically about, I brought I had a little tiny piece to show you. Um, so I use oil paint and I hold added it a little higher. Wax. Hold it a little uh, higher so we can, there you go, right there. Okay. So can you see the little surface on there, Keenan? Yeah, you can I, see the texture. Um, yeah, so that is oil paint that has a cold wax medium mixed in it. And that gives my paint some bulk. And then the knives I use to um, uh, apply it, I work in layers. And the knives allow me to put a, a nice chunk of paint down without lifting up the paint from before. And it also gives me kind of these smooth facets where a brush would leave brush strokes. Um, the knife gives me kind of these nice chunky facets of paint. So um, it's a cool, it's cool. The, the beeswax in there makes the finish matte and the resin in there makes the, the, it, the surface tough and it doesn't need varnish. And it's just, it's, it's just so fun to paint in. And that's one of the great things about art is that each artist approaches it different, uh, differently. And so when you go to something like the Belle Isle Art Fair, you just walk around and you can find the art that speaks to you. Absolutely. And um, one of the cool things too, and I really, this really came to mind during the pandemic when we were in shutdown is I didn't realize how much my dialogue with the, the, the patrons of the fairs and the collectors kind of inspired me like what it, not just painting what they like, but listening to what their questions were and just listening to their, their 
ideas about what I was working on. It just really filled my bucket. So I'm so excited to be able to be back out doing shows. Um, I love the people yesterday. Mm -hmm. Great questions, great fun. It was just a good day. And hopefully you'll have a lot of people down there uh, on uh, the last day of the art fair. Opens at 11, wraps up at 5. Kim Roney, thank you so much for joining us and really appreciate your, your insight and, and, and telling us about your painting technique. I love learning something and you just taught me something really cool. Thank you, Kim. Uh, Hope to see you all today. Thanks. All right.